Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to export Microsoft Defender for Cloud information to Siam. And as we all know, Siam is Security Information Event Management. So in this video we will understand how to configure the continuous export for log analytics workspace, exporting security alerts, recommendations, secure score and security findings. Moreover, we will learn how to enable the integration between Microsoft Defender for Cloud and Azure Sentinel. And we will also learn how to auto provision the Azure policies guest configuration extension. Right. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and I've deployed it again. So I will check the configuration in the Microsoft Defender for Cloud under the management in the environment settings. I'll go on to my subscription. I'll make sure all of my Defender plans are active. Now in the in this very window, so you go to the Microsoft Defender for Cloud, you go to the environment settings under management, you click on the subscription and you see this option continuous export. You click on it. Now here we can configure streaming export setting of Microsoft Defender for Cloud data to multiple export targets, either Event Hub or uh, the log workspace. Now if you say export enabled, you say on, you want to export that data into the event hub or you want to export that data to the workspace. And you, let's say you only want to have the regulatory compliance data. So on the exported data types, we select security recommendations, secure score and uh, security alerts. right and you can categorize it here as well and here as well in this option as well right now export uh, frequencies streaming updates okay now you export configuration resource group you select the ACS lab in which you have all your uh, resources Subscription is pay as you go and the workspace is the one that you create. Right, saving data to the log workspace incurs ingestion charges. So there are ingestion data ingest charges that we will have to pay if we are ingesting data. All right. It says integrating with the Azure monitor alerts as well. So we can create Azure monitor log alerts based on the log analytics query to view exported types in the Azure monitor. All right. And then you click on save. It will save the configuration. Now, if you go to the portal, Okay, and you click on the log uh, workspace here and you go to the ACS lab workspace that was created with the deployment and now on the workspace you click on the logs button. You cancel this option and you also close the queries window. No, on from the left, if you do it here, you click on queries, right? It was tabled, it is queries. Why am I not seeing the tables? So if I you cancel this option.
I'm I'm not sure why am I not getting the tables. Maybe let me go back here. Click on here again. I am not getting the tables that I want to see. Hmm. But I am getting that option under the queries. The reason it is not enabled because I have just in started the ingestion of data. Maybe that is why. Okay. No worries. Let me go to the integration with the Sentinel. So I'll go to the Azure Sentinel. Or I'll type Sentinel. Okay. Create a uh, on the Azure Sentinel workspaces. Click on create a workspace. So for this exercise, I will use the same workspace used by Microsoft Defender for Cloud. I'll do this. I'll select it, adding Microsoft Sentinel to workspace. Successfully added Microsoft Sentinel. Okay. Now adding Azure Sentinel to workspace takes few seconds as you saw. So once the Sentinel, this news and guides open, we will use the Microsoft Defender for Cloud connector to enable the integration. So this is the uh, Microsoft Sentinel. I'll go to the data connectors under configuration. It will open up the list of predefined connectors. I'll do Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Open the connector page. So, read and write permission standard tier is no longer required. The connector is available for all deployments. That is good. This is the subscription. You set it to connected. I don't want bi-directional sync for now. So bi-direction sync is enabled. If you want the Sentinel data to get to the Microsoft Defender and then you want Microsoft Defender also data to be integrated with Sentinel, you go with the bi-directional sync. And if you scroll down, you will see an option to create the incidents. It is recommended and make sure that the bi-directional sync is enabled. So there is a small explanation on Microsoft Defender for Cloud and Sentinel bi-direction alerts. When you connect Microsoft Defender for Cloud to Azure Sentinel, the status of Microsoft Defender for Cloud alerts that gets ingested into Azure Sentinel is synchronized between the two services. So, for example, when an alert is closed in Microsoft Defender for Cloud, then that alert will display as closed in Azure Sentinel as well. Changing the status of an alert in Microsoft Defender for Cloud won't affect the status of any Azure Sentinel incidents that contain the synchronized Azure Sentinel alert, only that of the synchronized alert itself. Enabling this feature, bi-directional alert synchronization will automatically sync the status of the original Microsoft Defender for Cloud alerts with Azure Sentinel incidents that contain the copies of those Microsoft Defender for Cloud alerts. So, for example, when an Azure Sentinel incident containing a Microsoft Defender for Cloud, Cloud alert is closed, Microsoft Defender for Cloud will automatically close the corresponding original alert. All right, and uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud can also now auto-provision the Azure's policies guest configuration. 
So, if you will enable it, and if you see the Microsoft Defender for uh, Cloud Data Connector status is connected, right? So, I'll go back. Now, I will <clears throat> go to the Microsoft Defender for cloud, I will go to the environment settings. I'll go for the subscription. You see this option auto provisioning. Now this is enable all extensions. So if you, uh, if you check for the guest uh, configuration, you see guest configuration agent which is also checks machine for security misconfiguration in the OS applications and environment settings. This deploy, this will deploy an agent to Azure virtual machines, hybrid virtual, hybrid machines connected to Azure Arc already have this agent included. So if you do this and save, it will enable the guest configuration agent auto provisioning as well. Right? So I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have, uh, any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.